other issues uh, to do with. Five years after inception, the Nuclear Electricity Board now says it is all ready to set up the first facility in another 10 years. We've done the pre-feasibility study. We've done the, we started with the strategic plan. We've done the grid analysis. We are currently doing site screening activities. And we've done the peer review with the International Atomic Energy Agency. This is estimated to cost the taxpayers 500 billion shillings. We have the PPP, as you said. We partner with our other private uh, stakeholders. But the government has to have a hand. The board is currently in the process of identifying sites to build the nuclear plants in the country. Site analysis takes almost three years. Hopefully, in the next two years, we should be able to pinpoint that uh, this is the place that we want to put the nuclear power plant. This will be expected either at the coastal region or around Lake Victoria. This based on the need to locate the site around a large water body. But a number of challenges have emerged with regard to the nuclear power plants, with stakeholders concerned about awareness and safety. When you talk about nuclear electricity, there's a question always about safety. When you talk about the siting of the power plants, county government will come in. Already there's a fears about some people when they ask about whether they will volunteer to have um, the plants in their counties. Of course, the response was very low. Kenya is currently generating roughly 2,300 megawatts of power annually from sources such as thermal, geothermal, hydro and wind. Studies have shown that the country will require more than 16,000 megawatts of electricity by 2030, hence the need for more sources of power to help meet demand. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.